welcome back to another modeling problem. Today, we take on a little bit of a challenge as we'll be learning how to do a loft and also using a bend modifier. And we're gonna be making a chair, which the geometry of chairs is always a great challenge for 3D modeling. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make the back of the chair. And the back of the chair, we're gonna start with a extended primitive C extrusion. And again, this is one way to make it, um, always more than one way to make an object. And I think this will be an easy way to make this. So I'm just going to just kind of drag a uh, C extrusion and I'll bring it up and then bring it in. And then I'm just gonna kind of modify this to fit the dimensions I want. So on the length right there, I'll let's go with um, 150. And then I'll also do 150 in the uh, front length. So Back length and front length is 150. That's not too bad. And then for the width, I'm going to go a little narrower. Let's try 100. And let's see how that looks there. That looks pretty good to me. And then we're just going to make all these objects. I think we're going to make it a little bit skinnier than what it is right now. Let's try 8. So I'll go 8 in all the width measurements. Makes it a little bit thinner. And on the height, we'll also go eight because we want it to look like it's a square piece of wood. And there we go. That'll be the back of our chair. Now we're going to bend the back of this chair. So uh, here's something that you need to, to understand when we're doing bending. If I go to a, my bend modifier right now, I'll go up to my modifiers while the object's selected and I will choose bend right here. If I try to do a bend, let's say I do a 20, 20 for, the, for the bend and I choose a different angle it's never gonna really get right very well because if you look at it from the side, you can see it wants to do that bend. You can see the orange where it's supposed to be, but we only have one segment in everywhere. So we go back to our C extrusion right here and I look at my segments, it all says one. Well, just like anything, if it's just one segment, it won't give me a very good bend. So I'm gonna change my segments to 10. You see immediately that one uh, change. I put 10 in everything. And that all to do it. And now we have a nice bend, as you can see. Uh, as far as the angle goes, um, let's go ahead and get it straightened out and we'll go from there. So I'm just gonna rotate this, uh, this object up. Let's get it going up and down again. Um, let me rotate this around so you can kind of see it a little bit. Something like that. And that looks like a pretty good um, back of a chair. That's about the curve that I wanted. Now, um, I'm also gonna have more to the back of my chair. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, some cylinders. So I'll go to my standard primitive cylinder. And I am just going to make a little cylinder and I'll make it, whoops, zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna make a cylinder, make the diameter and then come up. And I'm just gonna modify um, the parameters of this. It's still selected so I can see my parameters over here. And since I made this eight, I wanna make, make this a little bit uh, smaller. Let's try six, see how that looks. And on the height, um, might have to adjust the height. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, include some more segments on here. Let's go to 10 in our segments. And uh, on sides, if you wanna make a round, we'll go 30. And let's go ahead and bend this, and then we'll take a look at it after we're done bending it. Uh, I can see it's definitely too big um, if I'm looking at these, at these because, um, of course, I wasn't thinking about it, but that's a radius, not a diameter. So let's cut that in half and make it three. Whoops, not 30, three. And there we go. So now I have uh, this cylinder set up. So what I'm gonna do next is I am just going to uh, go back to my modifiers, and I'm gonna choose bend. And I don't really remember what the bend was on this one. So let me go ahead and click back on this object and look at my bend and it said 20. So I'll go back to this object. Now we're on bend and I'll change this to 20. So it matches and as you can see, it just kind of lines up with that. Now I'm going to use this uh, front viewport and I'm just going to kind of adjust this object so that they're lined up. Probably should have zeroed this one, by the way, and I never did. So I'm gonna go back to that original C extrusion and zero it. And then I'll take this object and do the same. And then I'll move it over as needed. So looking at this right now, I'm gonna do some changes to it. So I'm gonna, right away, I'm gonna maximize this viewport. And 
you can see what we have. So on the cylinder, it's not tall enough. So on that height, which I didn't really, I told you I would change it later. Let's go 145 and see what that looks like. That's getting closer, maybe 150. That looks pretty good right there. Um, let me go zero in my Z. I think this was zero in Z also, yes it was. So this lines up quite nicely now. So I could go ahead and move that over, but yeah, let me make sure it's lined up. I don't want it to go all the way to the top. I don't want to see any overlap or, you know, let's go 148. There we go. That will change it a little bit. And when we change the length of this, obviously the angle will change a little bit. So when I go back to my band, I can take that band uh, back a little bit to, uh, let's say about 19.5, uh, maybe even 19. There we go. And that lines up quite a bit better. So maybe, yeah, I think uh, we can live with this. Maybe let's go 18.5 actually. There we go. I, I think that's where I want it to be. So I'm going to come back. Um, it's all lined up on the edge right now. So we're going to kind of center this. So I don't remember what the width on this was. So I'm going to get it close where it looks good to my eyes in this left viewport. And then I'll look over here and um, adjust that middle. I think it's supposed to be 50. I think it's probably 100 on the width. And that should be right in the middle. And here we go. And then what we're going to do next is I'm going to take that. Um, let me change my colors real quick so I don't have to come back and do this later. I want this to be like a lighter blue, the C extrusion. We'll go up to like a light blue. And then on this part of the back, let's change this to a darker blue. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, now I'm going to take this, this cylinder, and I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to clone it. Try that again. Get off of the object. I'll get on selection, right click, and choose clone. I click copy, hit OK. And then I'm going to move that over. Get that about midway between these. Then I'll come down and look at my um, parameters. Probably supposed to be about, we'll just call it 30. No, I don't think that's right. I'm going to move it to the right a little bit. Yeah, probably 28. That's probably the right number. And then I'm going to uh, do the same thing here. Uh, select that middle one again. Right click and I'll clone it. Copy. OK. Move it over to where I think it's about in the midpoint. Look down here. Probably going to be 70 for that. Uh, maybe 72. So this one ended up being at 28 on the Y. This one ended up being at 72. And the middle one ended up being at 50. So there is the back of our chair. That was the, the first challenge we had to, uh, to deal with. Next on our chair, we need somewhere to sit. So let's go ahead and take care of that. This will be an easy part of the model. So I'm going go to go to um, cylinder. And I'm just going to kind of make a round uh, part. I'll just start with that and come up and I'll do my adjustments as needed. I want that radius. Let's go, let's go a little smaller. Let's try like 65 and uh, on the height, uh, that's at 14. Let's go to about 12 and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this to match that same color that the, the back was. And let's just kind of take a look at what we have here. It looks, um, looks pretty good actually so now I'm going to um, of course I need to move it and I'm just gonna go zero zero see what that looks like and obviously you notice when we zero something um, because the because the C extrusion was the thing that we zeroed it on and that the way we made that came from the corner that zero is really not gonna help us out on this particular bottom so I'm gonna go to the top viewport and move this over and just again, as I've always said, just use your eyeballs. Your eyes are a, a pretty good tool. And we're just gonna kind of move this forward, this forward till it's um, pretty equal on both sides. Maybe down a little bit. To me, it looks like you could see the measurements down here. I'll probably go to 50 and negative 25. And I think that will probably be about where we want it. So I can get back out of this uh, viewport and there's our seat bottom. 
doesn't look very comfortable. I think maybe we want to move it forward a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move this forward this direction. Yeah, that's better. I want to make sure if I zoom in on my, I want to make sure that this doesn't come off the edge. So, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Um, and uh, if I look down here, negative, let's go 45. There we go. That's a little bit better. And I we go zero in the Z. There we go. So you can see those measurements and what it ended up. Um, now we're going to make this chair a little more comfortable because we're going to put some kind of a cushion on there. And the cushion we're going to make is going to be an extended primitive uh, chamfer cylinder. We've done chamfer boxes. I don't think we've done a chamfer cylinder before. So um, I'm just going to make it, I'll just drag it out right from the top viewport. Something like this. And it'll come up. And it'll come in. And I'll move this up a little bit. And then I'm going to change the color to white. And I'll do some modifications on this now. So um, on the on the radius, let's see. I think the radius looks pretty good. I'll, I'll, miss, I'll just make it 50. The height also looks pretty good. I'll just make it 15. And then on the fillet, um, it's hard to tell because we don't have enough sides to make a nice fillet. So let me, let me change that height segment to 10 and a fillet segment to 10. That's really what you need. And then sides, let's go about 30 to make it smoother. And that should give us our cushion that we want. As far as moving it, um, probably want this to be 50 because that's what the other one was in the middle. And probably want this to be negative 45. And on this, uh, seven. That would be our up and down. I think that has enough to stick out. And okay, so there's our cushion for our chair. We do have um, one more tricky thing to do on this model. So what we're going to do for these legs is we are going to do a compound object loft. And compound object, as the name implies, means you have more than one object. And we are going to make the legs of this chair out of two 2D shapes. And those shapes are going to be, if I go to my 2D shapes, a line. So I'm going to do the line in the front viewport. And I'm just going to kind of guesstimate let me um let me maximize this i'm just going to kind of guesstimate about the height of these legs so i'm going to click drag down go kind of straight on the leg that looks about right to me and then i click again and now on the bottom part of this leg what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come out at an angle a little bit and i click and hold down the left mouse button and then kind of drag and that gives us this sort of curve. And then I just hit escape. And that'll just kind of end that um, that loft like that. Now, you can do it a little smoother. I'll do a second one, see if I can do better. I click. If I do it like this, come out a little bit more, I might be able to get a little bit smooth. See how it's a little bit smoother the way it came out? I think that actually will look a little bit better. So I hit escape. And now I have just kind of a kind of a curved leg that comes out. We'll do we can do a loft on that one. So I'm just going to um, get rid of this one so we only have one to worry about. And I have this line right here. I'm going to maximize uh, again or not ma unmaximize that viewport. And then the next thing I'm going to do is with this line. I'm going to get this line and kind of move it over here so we can kind of see. So that's where the line is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an ellipse. And I'm just going to kind of make a uh, drag an ellipse in this direction from top to bottom, uh, right around where that leg is. And I'm going to let go. And now I'm going to go uh, to geometry and change my extended primitive to compound objects. And then you can see, um, just like when you do a Boolean subtraction in union, you, uh, which we've done that before, if we click on loft, it's gonna ask me two things. It says get path or get shape. So since we have the shape, that's the ellipse picked already, we need to do what? We need to click the path. So get path, I click on the line, and there is our leg, albeit upside down. That's okay. What we're gonna do with that leg is we are going to uh, turn it around. Now, one thing I'm concerned about is, is, is it the right proportions? Because to me, looking at it right here, 
I move it over a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too skinny, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit Control Z, I undo it, and I am just going to take that ellipse and click the Scale command, and I'm just gonna drag it a little bit longer this way, a little bit bigger this way. That's better, and I think I'll, that'll just give us a better, um, a better leg. So I will select it again, go through the same process again, uh, loft and get path, and then I'll check the line. And there we go, there is our leg. I think it's a little bit better this time, a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and rotate that leg around. So I want the, the I want the leg to be going the opposite direction right now. So just kind of flip that and just go um, 90. And uh, I'll make these zero. So it's kind of straight up and down. And there's our leg and, and we're gonna need um, we're going to need four legs, so let's first get this one in place. I'm just going to move it down, um, move it over, Oops. move it over. You can get rid of these objects, by the way, these 2D splines. You can just select them and delete them, get them out of your model for, for now. And there is my leg. I want to take that leg. I don't want it coming straight. I don't want to come. I want it kind of coming at an angle. So I'll click on it again, go to rotate, and I'm just gonna kind of angle it out like that. And it looks like I'm at about a, I don't know, 40 degree angle, so I can go 40. And then I'll move it in, move it in on the corner, somewhat like that. And uh, you can see we have one leg. And I could see right away, like this like still is not big enough. Once I got it in place, I'm like, I don't really like it. So uh, let's go ahead and select it. And this is this is okay. This is part of modeling that you're gonna have to learn is sometimes you make an object and it's just not the way you want it to. You can either start again or you can try to modify the one you already made. In my case, I'm going to try to modify the one I already made. So I'll just kind of um, drag this out. I can make it a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, something like that come out and see and uh it looks a little bit better it's a little bit long uh longer than i want it to be so i'm going to uh kind of drag it down into z so i can kind of scale up and and drag it down into z until we get something that we like to me that leg looks a lot better now and um, i don't want it sticking through the top of the chair so let's uh, go ahead and move it down and there we go. So we have leg number one done. Um, I want this leg to be the same color as the um, the light colored blue on the back of the chair, something like that. So I'll take that leg and we're gonna do a mirror. So I come up here to mirror and I want to copy it and hit okay and then I've got a leg going this direction so I can move it back. This will be the back corner leg. I just kind of move it back to this corner so you can see we have two legs on the two sides, something like that. And then I just need two more legs. So I'll just take these, both of these guys at the same time, select them, click mirror. And we want to copy them and let's see what direction we want to do it in. Do we want to do Y? Now that's upside down. That won't work. Z. I think Z did it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm gonna move these two legs at the same time over to the other side of the chair. If I maximize this viewport, I can kind of make sure that I'm proportionately correct. Looks like um, those are kind of just over the edge here. That looks like it, so I'm going to come out and let's take a look at our chair. So we've got a chair, it's got um, it's got four lofted legs. We we have a back. I keep on doing that. <laughs> I need to stop adjusting it. I have a back of the chair that's a uh, a bend that um that has a C extrusion and of course some other bends on the back of these. So that is how we make a chair. And we learned how to do a few different things. Thanks for watching. Come on back for more tutorials.